Beat the Street Chicago empowers local youth through wrestling. They provide year-round programming and mentorship both on and off the mat. Joining us now with more is Executive Director Mike Powell and former student athlete Cam White. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Let's first talk about how you started this. Where did this all come about? Well, I came into an organization that was already started but was fledgling. Okay. That was a little over five years ago. Okay. And uh, since then, we've grown into the biggest wrestling organization in the United States. So, wow. pretty cool. A lot of people think uh, basketball, baseball, right. maybe softball, those kinds of sports to try to get the guys in, or, or even the girls involved. Wrestling was kind of a different angle for you guys with this. Yeah, so we're, we're I think we... We are attracted, remember that wrestling, you can be just as important as a 100-pounder as you can as a 300-pounder. Right, so okay. there's, a, there's a body, you know, there's no body type that doesn't excel in wrestling. Okay. It's more about attitude and discipline, how coachable you are. Um, so we attract kids that maybe don't fit in in other sports or maybe have trouble in school, maybe, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and so our goal is to, you know, we, we open the door to anybody. But we, a lot of kids find home with us, homes with us, boys and girls, um, who might not otherwise find a home somewhere. Yeah, Cam, how did you find your home there? Were you already wrestling when you got into the program? Yes, I've been wrestling since I was three. So. Oh, since you're three? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, so you're just like the, yeah, the rough housing of it. Yeah, I, I've been on Coach Powell since I was eight. So okay. right, I've been in Beach Street since eight, nine years old. So. So what did it do for you? Help you become a better person. Yeah. Uh, yeah, help become a better person. Just life-wise, too. Yeah. It's such so a lot, of lessons, lot of life, life lessons taught yeah, there? Uh, yeah. A lot of life lessons taught. Help you get through life. Help you get through things that's tough, because wrestling is already tough. So. It's a disciplined sport. Yeah. yeah. Very disciplined. So. And I love the fact that you said that the girls are involved. And in fact, you were telling me that the girls are actually better than the boys in this case. Our girls are out. Yeah, our boys are doing great. Yes, so they are good. Doing, but uh, in terms of actual accomplishments, yes. Um, but you know, we actually at Beat the Streets, we, we kind of measure, um, not in wrestling championships, but what we call life champions. And so um, our boys and girls are both, and he's a great example. Okay, but I like to that. brag on the girls yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the the awesome. girls are totally awesome. They're incredible. <laughs> yeah, and and it's, like they, they just won a championship? Well, we just had a girl win a big national tournament, mm -hmm. Mia Vasquez from the north side. She goes to Rick Over Academy. Mm -hmm. And so she just won a big tournament. We had, we had a couple other girls place winners, and we have a girl that, like I told you, is on scholarship now at Augustana, and she's, you know, we, we have girls that are at, at Purdue Engineering, Illinois Engineering. Mm -hmm. We had a, our first girl state champ was a couple years ago out of Lane Tech. She's doing great. So we're, the, our girls are awesome. Well, and I like about this is a lot of times, you know, kids will find these organizations, and then when they're done with high school, they're done with it, and that's not the case here. Well, no, and, it, and particularly with Beat the Streets, yeah. is whether you go on to wrestle or not, right. uh, we stay connected to our, our student athletes. We follow them all the way through college. Our goal is to, you know, we brought eight former Beat the Streets athletes back into intern last year. Mm -hmm. We helped them land internships. A lot of our kids are first generation college. They don't have an uncle that's going to get them their first ten er interviews. You know, so we're we're going to be with we're going to be with Cam until he lands his first job. Absolutely. And, you know, and, and even after the first job, he wants, he wants to come back <laughs> and coach with us. So you know, our goal will be to you know, it, 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 we're really a family. Yeah. And we're there for them throughout. We don't, you don't get to graduate our program at 18 and we don't see you again. Yeah, so. you, and, and then they help you with more than just actually the wrestling, the academic portion yeah. of it, because you're over at Triton now with, what, a 3.5 GPA? 3.5. 3.5. Isn't that something? Look That's at that. <laughs> and you're still looking further ahead. Yeah. And so, you come back to Mike and say, hey, yes, what's yes. next? Let me we have always talk. We always stay in contact. Anytime. It, it ain't even got to be about me needing something, you know, just to talk, just see how you're doing, see what's going on. Okay. I did. We, you know, we talked about wrestling is such a disciplined sport. So is it the discipline of wrestling that you translate to real life that makes this program successful, do you think? I appreciate you asking that question. Okay. Uh, we in the wrestling world think it is very unique. I call it half rest, you know, half sport, half uh, martial art. Mm -hmm. There's so much discipline. There's really, frankly, so much kind of chosen suffering. Yes. You know, the, you, know you, you imagine the life of a student athlete in high school, and particularly somebody that's very serious, it's an arduous thing. Mm -hmm. Then add the fact that you have to watch your weight, you have to eat. So you're watching the football players trying to gain weight while you're eating kale and chicken breasts. Right. You're going for a morning run, and then you go through the hardest workout of your life, and then you got to walk out on a a wrestling mat compete against another person with no teammates and no equipment yeah. and risk losing so there's a vulnerability there mm -hmm. you know there's just, there's just like kind of the 
the self-reliance, the discipline, and, and the emotional growth that you get from wrestling is very unique in sport. It's a team sport without the support of the team while you're doing it. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And you guys got a big tournament coming up next week? Yeah, next week. A big one. Big national tournament. So we will have people from several states, and we'll have over 100 kids of ours compete in it. So. All right, so people Ooh. can come out and see what you guys do there. Yeah. All right, Kim, thank you congratulations guys. Yeah. to you, and thank, thank you. Thank you all. Best of luck to you all. Thank Keep you. up the good work. Uh, if you thank want you. some more information about the uh, Beat the Streets Chicago program, it's on Archer Avenue. You see the phone number there. At BTS Chicago, social media handles, btschicago.org is more information on the website. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.